Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. If you're new here, glad to have you. If you're not, welcome back. I'm glad you're joining me for another vlog. Well, today we're really, really trying to get it together. Our whole lives. My entire life is, is in shambles. <laughs> okay, dramatic, but not a complete, I mean, not a complete stretch. So, the last, I don't even know, honestly, I feel like we're going on like a month several weeks though especially last week and pretty much the week before that as well I have just not cared about anything don't care if the house is clean don't care if the laundry's done don't care if I'm eating healthy don't care if we're eating the groceries that we buy don't care like I just don't don't care about how much water I'm drinking I'm just unconcerned I'm doing the bare minimum <laughs> surviving not thriving, just surviving as a human, going to work, coming home, you know, whatever. So that has to change. I have to get it together. I've been in this like slump funk. I don't know, but I'm over it and it's got to stop because I, I don't feel good mentally, physically. I just don't feel good and I'm over it. So no more excuses. We're going to get it today. We're going to get it together. So a few changes in life. Um, Morgan is on a job right now um, that's happening in Oklahoma. We live in Texas, if you're new here, like South Texas. So we live in San Antonio. He's on this random job up in Oklahoma, which was very unexpected. Like his job took a literal 180 one day. We were not expecting it. Everything about his job changed and we're just like, what just happened? Literally, it's bizarre. Iced coffee, by the way. Um, ooh, that's good. Mm. I swear I make better iced coffee than Starbucks. Anyways, I'll share that recipe with you. I know I have footage of it somewhere, so I'll sneak it in at some point. Um, anyways, his job took a turn. He is now like randomly out of town for like five days at a time. Um, he's on like the most random schedule. It's just like, it came out of nowhere and it happened really quickly and we're just like hanging on, trying to make it work. Um, so that has been very different. I'm home, you know, sometimes it's the weekend and I'm home alone. Weekdays I'm home alone. Like it's just a really random thing. I don't know. So that has been a big adjustment and a hard one because I'm, we live together. I'm just so used to him being there prior to this job starting. I don't, I have never even slept in our house alone and we've lived there a year. So it's just a change kind of weird. The second he leaves, I'm just like sad and like want to eat my feelings in Taco Bell, which I have done every single time that he's left so far. <laughs> I've got to get it together. I seriously have to get it together. I deleted the DoorDash app. We're done with it. No more food delivery. I cannot. I can't, I can't do it anymore. So what are the other changes? Um, honestly, that's the only change. That's like the major change. So I'm also buying a car this week. I wish I could tell you which one. <laughs> I've been having a really hard time um, picking a car. I've been having a really hard time. This is the first car that I'm buying. I got this car as a college graduation present like five years ago. I love this car. If it wasn't so high in mileage and kind of on its last leg, I would just keep driving it because I genuinely love this car. It's a Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm obsessed except for not obsessed with Jeep. I'm over them. I'm over their dealerships. I'm over their people. I'm over calling Chrysler about recalls that never get fixed, extended warranty things never get fixed. I'm just so over it. We're going on years of it. And I'm like, never again, really wish that it was a different story because I love Jeeps. My sister has a Jeep. We have both had Jeeps previously. Like, I feel like I'm a Jeep girl, but it just, I can't, I can't anymore. I'm just really unhappy customer. And I'm like pretty easygoing. I'm like, never, I can't really think of anything in life where I'm like really upset with service somewhere except for Jeep. Oh, they drive me crazy. So I've been looking at, I was really set on the Volkswagen Tiguan for about a month. I haven't test driven it yet. That's what I'm going to do this week is like test drive and I'm probably going to buy this weekend. But 
I'm worried it's too small. I'm worried it's too small. I love the interior. I like the exterior fine. I, like, I like it. I think it's cute. I want a white one. They have this really pretty light, it's called light gray or storm gray, something like that interior, and it is stunning. It looks like almost white. Like, it is just, I love it. I love it. But I've seen them on the road. I was parked next to one, like, at a red light, and th there was a guy driving, and he was like, very much his head was very much lower to the ground than mine I could tell that he was sitting a lot lower it sits lower to the ground don't really want anything like that and the like middle part right here where like your cup holders are um, is very skinny the console is tiny it's like pushed back and like probably like a fourth of what I have or like a third of what I have here in the Jeep um, you know, it's just on the smaller side. Also, I can't figure out the third row situation, so I'm gonna have to ask them when I go to look at one. Like, do they all have third rows or only some of them? Because the few that I've seen online, it looks like the back, the third row doesn't fold flat or they just have it messed up for some reason in every photo that I've seen. I can't have a, a back end that doesn't lay flat. That would drive me crazy. Also, don't want the third row. So if they have it without it, I would want a T1, no third row. Um, no, I would never. I'm not trying to lug people around and I would never have anyone sit there. So it's just like a waste, don't want it. Recently, I've kind of evolved into the Atlas Crossport, which originally I thought was 100% out of the price range, but I have found a few that I could make work. It's not like the top trim, but it's like the Atlas Crossport um, SE, I think is the trim with tech. And I found a few that are in my price range. Literally the only thing I care about is backup camera and leather interior, which I'm pretty sure like every car has a backup camera. So that's pretty easy. But the cross sport, the ones without leather are like comfortable in my price range. The ones with leather, which I think is the SE. I'm assuming that's the difference. I don't, I truly don't know, but the SEs seem to all have leather. Whereas the S version, the one below that, none of them have leather that I've seen. So I would want to go with the SE. I thought about it, like, do I need leather? Can I go without leather? And I went back and forth with it, but truly I think that I wouldn't be 100% happy if I didn't have it because it is so easy to clean. I just, and I really like it. I just, I like being able to wipe down my seats at the car wash. I like a coffee spill that I could clean up easily. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with the leather, hopefully. So I need to go this week and test drive some stuff. I was supposed to do that this weekend and it literally poured rain all weekend. And I don't want to look at a car in the rain because I want to stand out there. I want to look at it. I'm trying to see every inch of it. I'm trying to, you know, do the full inspection. And then this morning I was watching the car mom who I've been looking into. She has great advice. If you are into SUVs, if you're a mom specifically, she reviews cars as a mom and for families and gives you the deeds. But she does a lot of SUVs, which is why I like her. And she's been in the car business, her family's in the car business. And this morning I was watching one of her videos and she was saying, don't go look at a car if the weather is bad. She's like, you wanna be able to stand outside, look at it, you want to drive it in the best condition, you wanna see it in you know, bright weather, you know, bright sunny weather so you can really see everything. She was talking about used cars, but I feel like this goes with new. I also am nervous to test drive it because I know the like dealer guy rides with you and that makes me like uncomfortable, I don't know. I'm just like nervous he's gonna like not like my driving. I'm like paranoid for no reason. But um, I also don't wanna test drive it in the rain. I don't want wet feet up in the car. Like it just, I don't wanna do it. So I didn't go this weekend. It's raining in today. I don't know when it's gonna stop raining. I feel like I'm literally running out of time. I was texting my mom and she was like, you're putting it off. And I'm like, I'm not putting it off. I just, it's raining. I can't go when it's raining. And it's literally been raining for three freaking weeks. Anyways, that's my rant. Let me know if you have SUV recommendations. Also, what else is new? Um, my nose is not great. I have polyps, we already talked about that. I got them removed last June. That surgery should have lasted at like four to five years. Mine were growing back almost immediately. They're basically growths in your like sinuses. So anyways, might have been back for a while and now I have a massive one blocking like the entire left side of my face. It's causing headaches and I can't breathe through that side, obviously. It affects smell, taste, like a lot of stuff. So 
I did start to fix it though, which should be helping with the polyps. Um, and I see my surgeon next week. So that's the update on that. So if you hear me sounding extra congested, I actually sound okay right now, but kind of goes in waves. Um, that's why. So sorry about it. Okay, okay y'all. I am home from work and most importantly, Trader Joe's. We did some damage. Whoops. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just cracking myself up with this haul that was supposed to be the necessities. Like, who do I think I am? I can't just get the necessities of Trader Joe's. Big jokes. Okay, especially when I don't have to go back to work. That's why I like to shop at Trader Joe's my lunch break because I'm contained to like a small amount of space of where I can keep things. Like our freezer's almost full at work, so I can only stuff so many things in there. Well, I went after work and I made, you know, quite the haul. So I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna open some Amazon stuff. And I'll show you what I got. I also have like several Amazon things to show you, so maybe we'll do a little Amazon situation. But regardless, I'm gonna jump into the Trader Joe's stuff. Full disclaimer. I wish I didn't have to go here, but I do. I show my hauls and my journey and my life for pure entertainment from a viewer standpoint. I like to share my journey, it helps keep me accountable. I like to share my life because it's fun, okay? I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a registered dietitian, I'm also not telling you that you have to eat these things or that you should be eating these things. I don't really care what you think about the sodium, I don't really care what you think about my choices necessarily. You know, if this isn't a haul that you would do, cool, don't do it, don't buy these things. You know, if this is too much calories or this is too much sodium or you don't like prepackaged convenience foods, that's on you girl and I support you. So support my decisions and if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. If you have to preface a comment with no offense but or I mean this in a nice way, don't comment, okay, don't do it. I'm on full block mode right now with the mean comments. I just like couldn't care less. So if you don't wanna lose commenting privileges, keep it nice, keep it light, and just move on. And really, if my food choices are affecting you, my food choices are affecting your life, first, click off the video, second, seek help, okay? <laughs> Let's jump into the haul. I don't know where to start. We'll start over here. Okay, so I got a couple um, new sauces I wanted to try. So I got their organic spicy taco sauce, a fiery tangy blend of peppers and spices. Is this lighting going to be okay? I feel like I'm going to need my ring light. We'll see if this is going to be okay. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see if like how spicy this was and I'm going to do tacos this week. So I'm actually going to do it like more than one day, I think. So got that. Also got taco mix because I wasn't sure like taco seasoning because I wasn't sure how much I had left. I'm very excited about this, although I've heard only awful things about it, so I'm not really sure why I felt the need to buy it. But Cajun style Alfredo sauce. I've seen several posts about it, and a lot of people say it's like not, you know, it's just not that great. But I wanna try it for myself. So I did get that. I got some cans of tuna. Um, I didn't get a cucumber, should have. The produce section was busy. They were like restocking a lot of stuff, so there was like a lot of um, Trader Joe's employees on the floor. They were like everywhere. They're like wheeling stuff around. So apparently Mondays after work, not a good time to go, but I did get some tuna for snacking. Then this is actually a non-food item, watermelon overnight face mask. I don't know. I haven't heard of it. I haven't seen it, but I just thought that looked fun. And I've been having fun trying Trader Joe's like skincare items and things like that. I bought their hair mask and I really like it. And then I got two bottles of wine just so we can have it on, have it on hand. Um, the just two buck chuck, super inexpensive, I think like $3.99 actually. Um, but the cab and the red wine blend. I really like those. Moving on. I got these. These are actually so delicious, but I mainly got them for Morgan. The spicy cheese crunchies. They are basically hot Cheetos. Less spicy than hot Cheetos though. Really good. The flavor is awesome. If you're a hot Cheetos fan or if you like want to be a hot Cheetos fan but they're too spicy, try these at Trader Joe's. They are really, really good. 
Um, this is a new to me find, but I've seen people post about it online. They're called patio potato chips. So it's a mixed bag. They have sea salt and vinegar, delicious dill, homestyle ketchup, and smoke and sweet barbecue flavored potato chips. So it's all these different chips in one bag. And I just think that's exciting. So I wanted to get that and try it because I've seen it online. I also got the carb savvy tortillas. You can see they're not huge, but they're 45 calories. I've never had their tortillas, so I'm interested to try them. Hutch has made himself at home in the bag that I just put on the floor. I also got some of these little baby apples. I think last time I got jazz. These are honey crisp. So just little apples. I've got peanut butter on hand, PB2 on hand, have a little snack at work or at home. I got the mild pico de gallo salsa for my tacos. Also the chunky guacamole, which I'm excited about for tacos. And hopefully it will last me through, it says best by June. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna have tonight, but I might have tacos. I'm hoping it lasts me to the weekend because I really wanna make that hash brown patty with egg and then with this on it, so good. Check out my Trader Joe's what eat in a day version. I'll link it for you here or down below or both because it's a delicious like brunch breakfast option. So hopefully that will last me to the weekend. Um, I got two boxes of the turkey corn dogs. Me and Morgan love these. Um, he loves them. They're just delicious. So I wanted to get two boxes of those. Also, I got some fresh pineapple. Excited about that. Romaine lettuce. Is this romaine? Honestly, I don't even know. I just grabbed it. What is this? Green leaf lettuce, frise. Is that how you say it? Frise? Radicchio and carrots. Okay, well, I thought it was romaine. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm going to chop this up for tacos. Um, maybe do like a taco um, bowl or something for lunch one day. Extra lean ground beef for the tacos, obviously. And then I got a couple, I forgot that they're all in this bag. Got a couple new of their like vegetable things that I haven't tried or haven't seen before. So this is the vegetable stir fry with zucchini spirals. So it's just zucchini noodles with um, different vegetables and I think a sauce, yeah, a sauce and it's 50 calories per serving, four servings per container. So I'm excited to try that. There's like a side dish or something or just add some protein to that, could be good. This I have seen and I've wanted to try it. I've, I've heard that this is good. Is it bulgo bulgogi beef? <laughs> bulgogi beef, uh, fried rice with kimchi. Never had kimchi, so that should be interesting. I'm excited to try it. Also restocked the vegetable fried rice. Huge fan of this. We eat it, I mean, not every week, but like probably every other week we have this with like salmon or something. Really good. I also restocked my mac and cheese. If you're on my Instagram, you saw <laughs> last week I said, I'm gonna go make salmon. And then I had a corn dog with mac and cheese. So. Just gotta have these on hand sometime for those nights. I also picked up the organic pesto tortellini. This is 360 calories for the package. I thought with some chicken and a little side salad, that would make a really fun dinner. And then I actually sent this, a picture of this uh, to my friend Miranda. This is new, the uh, vegan pasta bolognese. It's a meatless plant-based bolognese style sauce with mushrooms and red lentil pasta. Um, she said it's really hard to find the vegan stuff at her Trader Joe's. She is here on YouTube as Running on Plants, and she just started a vlog channel called Flourishing Miranda, so go check her out. Love her. She said she can never try it, so I said, you know what? Or she can never find the vegan stuff, so I said, well, I'll pick it up, and I'll try it for you. <laughs> um, I also got us some pizzas just to keep on hand in the freezer for a quick weekend lunch or something. This one is the margarita. Three servings per container, 320 calories, so under a thousand calories for the whole pizza. And then this I've seen people post about, roasted garlic and pesto pizza with deep fried crust. Yes, the whole thing is 1270 calories. Obviously me and Morgan will split those, um, but I keep seeing it and I just had to try it. I also have been seeing these everywhere, fried ravioli. What's interesting is I think that they're cheese. Yeah, they're cheese ravioli. Um, I, what are you doing? I think they're cheese ravioli, uh, which is interesting because in, well, I don't like know what area of the US, but 
my dad is from Missouri and my mom is from Illinois and they, especially my mom being in Illinois, grew up with toasted ravioli. And so anytime we would go to her hometown or like up to see her brother or anything like that, we would get pizza one night and with the toasted ravioli from like the restaurant and it's always beef ravioli. Um, and we actually have a place nearby my parents' house that I love that does beef toasted ravioli. It's like not really a thing here in Texas. So I'm interested to try the cheese. I know it'll be good, but usually when I see it, it's beef. Roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. I don't think I've ever had this. I think every time I look for it, I can't find it. So I'm excited to try it. I know it's, I mean, it's just potatoes with peppers. That's literally it. Um, this is gonna be really good though for breakfasts or dinner bowls, like whatever. Of course, the, let me see all this. It's hot in Texas. Uh, the cauliflower stir fry rice. I love this stuff. This is the best cauliflower rice, hands down. Also the chimichurri rice. This is a favorite of me and Morgan. We love to have this with like chicken sausage. Um, really, I just got that to stock in the pantry. It won't, it probably won't be eaten this week. Um, I got some fresh Atlantic salmon, the boneless ones. Honestly, I wasn't a huge fan of their salmon last time. So we'll see. Um, mini beef tacos. I thought Morgan would love this. And I saw somebody on TikTok make like a plate of these. They did like eight or 10 in like a bowl. And then they added like nacho toppings. Genius. Like they melted cheese on top of them and added like sour cream, like for a weekend dinner. Yes, ma'am. That sounds phenomenal. So I got those. These are four mini tacos for 190 calories, by the way. So there's that. This is another new vegetable option, organic green vegetable foursome. So I did get this. It has um, uh, broccoli, peas, French green beans, and zucchini. Ooh, okay, I haven't ever seen this, and I love like pesto, tomato, anything. So this is the linguine with pesto and tomatoes. It's about six, 700 calories for the whole thing. Obviously, you split it um, early. This is a lot. I feel like you could do this in two or three servings, add some chicken or whatever. And then I restocked the breakfast hash browns. Oh, this is the better side. If you haven't tried these, you need to use them as like the toast for avocado toast. You won't be disappointed. All hail Whitney Simmons for showing me that, although I think she got it from somebody else. Not the point. These are delicious. So that's the Trader Joe's haul. This week I'm gonna be having tacos. Um, like I said a million times, I'm gonna have salmon probably with the cauliflower rice. That's gonna be really good. That's like a really good combo. And I'm gonna cook it with the sweet chili. I still haven't tried this from a previous haul and I keep seeing people put it on salmon. So I'm gonna try that this week, air fried probably. Well, maybe baked, we'll see. Um, with that, I don't know what else. There's, I mean, we got options. We got a lot of options for dinner. So stay tuned, I'm gonna do a dinner's video um, and some of the stuff will probably be in it. So stay tuned for that. I think that's all. I'm gonna get the stuff put away and then maybe I'll show you some Amazon stuff. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I'm about to have dinner and this is what I'm gonna have tonight. It's just so easy and I think it's gonna be really good. It looks really good. So, has vegetables, grilled beef, and kimchi. Here is the info. So the entire container is 680. It feels like a lot, like a lot heavier, a lot more food, even than like the chimichurri rice. So hopefully this will last me a lunch or maybe I can, um, you know, eat like two thirds and use the rest at lunch with, you know, something else tomorrow. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But we're just going to pan fry it seven minutes. Everything goes in at the same time. Doesn't get much easier than that. All right, y'all, this is dinner. I ended up just doing half of that and I made some of the pork gyoza pot stickers to go with it so I could stretch it to be a lunch for tomorrow as well. And I'm going to use the gyoza dipping sauce. Um, I'm probably just gonna drizzle it over these. This, by the way, delicious. I was on a uh, FaceTime with Morgan so I didn't really get any footage of me cooking this, but it's delicious. I tried it, not spicy, really good. And I'm just gonna use that sauce, like I said, on the pot stickers. Definitely give this one a try if you haven't picked it up at Trader Joe's. I think it's awesome.